Hello Internet, my name is Aaron Garcia, and today I have a very special unboxing. This is the Apple TV 4K, the newest one from Apple, courtesy of Paul, who is in the audience. And uh, today we'll be unboxing his new Apple TV, and it's awesome because it's made by Apple, and of course it's awesome. So, um, first thing I notice about this new Apple TV is the remote. They show us the all new remote. Let's see if we get a good shot of that right there. Uh, they've gotten rid of the uh, little, I think the old one had little toggle buttons uh, before, right? No, it's a, a swipe. Like a, uh, like a little swipe wheel? Oh yeah, okay, the little, a trackpad. it was a square trackpad and a lot of people didn't like that. My dad had bought one, he didn't like that. And apparently people like this a lot better. You have the option of spinning your finger around this in a circular motion or you can click in either direction like a D-pad. No, it's a, still a trackpad as well. Still, no, it's a track, well, it's, it's a circular trackpad, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. So, um, and then I see that you have a, uh, make sure you get this in the shot. Uh, you also have the, I don't even know what that button's for. What is this button for? Do you know what this button's for? Uh, it used to be for uh, telling the unit to go to sleep, but now they added that power button up there, so I'm not exactly sure. We're gonna find out. That's what that's what <laughs> that's what that button's no, for. Uh, arrow button is the back button for like home. Okay, so we have the back button. We have the arrow button. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what that button's for. We got a play pause button, a mute button, and some volume keys. The mute button's me. The mute button's me. We didn't have a mute button before? Wow. What were they thinking? Like seriously, to not have a mute button on a remote. Okay, I see that, yes, they do have a power button. I'll make sure you get a nice shot of that. We'll see that here in a little bit. There's a Siri button on the side. They don't show that button on the side there. So there's a Siri button on the side. We don't see it, but it's there. And um, so I guess the one of the biggest things about this new uh, Apple TV unit is that it has a new remote. I mean, that's basically what I'm getting from it and that it is 4K. So check that out, it's 4K, 4K right there. Um, and on the back, we have this glorious uh, explanation of what it comes with. It has the ultimate cinematic experience Enjoy 4K HDR picture uh, quality and Dolby Atmos sound. I don't think we had that before. No? No, maybe, maybe? With upgrades. With upgrades. With this one comes with its standards, so that's good. Um, and then we have the Apple TV, Netflix, Disney Plus. So it's got all these apps on there. The App Store is there. I believe that was there before. We have AirPlay, that's been around for a little bit. It can be paired with the HomePod for wireless surround sound, and it's got uh, AirPods. Oh, you can connect to your AirPods. Do you have AirPods? Okay, the next purchase is gonna be AirPods. Oh, you're getting some AirPods. <laughs> He's shaking his head no, but I know he will. Uh, and it works with your uh, wireless headphones. So let's show you that little graphic there. There we go, Give you a nice shot of that. And, uh, Apple is very simple with their packaging. Uh, you'll notice here that um, it just says Apple TV in 4K. On the side it's blank. On the bottom it has a bunch of legal jargon. Uh, requires iTunes account, broadband, internet access. I don't know, I didn't know we still called it broadband. I'm thinking more like fiber. Um, uh, yeah, that's, that just sounds old to me now. You can't say, I, just say fiber. Requires internet access, okay. 4K HDR, 4K and HDR, it has a bunch of requirements here. Uh, acceptance of the software license terms. What if I don't accept them? I guess I can't use this thing. Uh, and includes Siri remote, lightning cable. So I guess you can charge this with your lightning uh, cable. Hmm. No more batteries, I, I suppose. We'll find out here in a minute. For the remote, right? Um, subscriptions may be required of course, and HDMI cable sold separately. I feel robbed. It doesn't come with an HDMI cable. I feel definitely robbed. My monitors come with an HDMI cable. Um, and they cost a lot less than this. Uh, one, how much did you pay for this? 180? 180. 180. 
Um, one gigabyte, okay, yeah, cool. So it's just got basic uh, disclaimers. It's a 32 gigabyte model, as I can see down there. Uh, on the back, we have this, which I just showed you here a moment ago, uh, what it can do. And the cool features that I see right off the bat are being able to pair it with your HomePod. So if you invest in having HomePods, you got speakers that are wireless and you put them all in a little surround system. Um, and the EarPods, the AirPods, that, that's pretty interesting. I like that, you know, I live in an apartment, so playing movies loud like Star Wars, you know, when they're all shooting at each other, it'd be good to have some uh, headphones late at night. I've gotten, I've had some knocks on the door, not here, but the last place. And I learned very quickly that, you know, headphones. So uh, you might remember one of my last videos uh, or an earlier video well, a couple years ago, I bought a Bluetooth a transmitter that would convert the sound to Bluetooth so I could have them on headphones. You don't need that with the Apple TV built right in. I think that's really it about the packaging. Apple's really straightforward uh, with the packaging. So we're gonna just open this. We're gonna have some fun. And, uh, oh wait, we can't use knives with the Apple product, right? We gotta respect the box. So uh, let's see how easy this is to open, huh? I can open it with my nail, no big deal. Uh, so satisfying, isn't it? Opening the wrap. It's a new Apple product. Just uh, toss this somewhere off camera. Um, and now Apple products are known for uh, the slow open. See that? Yeah. See, if I let go of it, it just kind of slowly slides down because it's airtight. And then I'm gonna pull it off, pop. I don't know why I keep doing that. I, I keep sniffing the box, expecting that there's gonna be some vanilla scent like in the early 2000s uh, when Apple used to do that. It's not there, I'm missing it. Um, all right, so when we open the box, we're greeted with an Apple TV. There it is, gloriously there, and the remote. So it's basically a mirror of your uh, box and it looks pretty much identical. So um, What should we look at first? Thinking the remote What do you think? Go for it. Let's go for the remote. All right so um, The remote is wrapped in this nice uh, paper um, To protect it Slides right off And it's a kind of hefty remote it's kind of thick. Let's get a good shot of that over here in the second camera. It's double the thickness of the original. Yeah, it's definitely double the thickness of the original remote. Um, and I see the lightning port down here to charge the remote. So that tells me there's no more batteries and I don't see the little circular thing to take it off. Um, there's a nice Apple logo on the back. Some more fine print about being designed in California, assembled in China. And uh, I see some nice little screws on the bottom of it. And these screws are, you can't really see that in the second camera, but they are, looks like Torx. Little star pattern. Those look like little Torx screws. So they don't really want you opening this. Um, and the buttons are nice. These are nice, you know, raised buttons. So let's just show you that. I don't know if you can kind of see. They're real thick. Feel nice, Real, and they're, they fit like my whole thumb. It's a good size button there. Volume keys, and the uh, mystery button that we don't know what it's for yet. Um, and I see the little hole for Siri. I see the power button, and I see it's got, it's uh, for the infrared to send that signal over. Oh, is it a Bluetooth? I thought it was. It's all Bluetooth, but you can pair it to work with non-Bluetooth items for volume control. Ooh. So you can do both. Yeah. And I can see the Siri button here on the side, uh, which is nice, so you can speak to it. Very, very nice remote. We'll put that down gently. We will look at the less exciting things in this box, which would include the power cable, which is in Apple fashion, very neatly wrapped. Uh, pop that out. Got to savor this. So we're savoring the unboxing. All right. 
There we go. And it is a nice black power cable. And it is longer than I have uh, arms. So it's quite long. So I would imagine this is maybe six feet. Looks like six feet to me. So uh, good length. It is, uh, I think they call it, what do they call that? Polarized, where you, it's not, this is non, so you can plug it in either direction. Doesn't matter which way you plug it in. So you don't need to worry about uh, which way you plug this in. That's nice. There's no brick, which is also very nice. Um, can't say that about the new iMac. The new iMac has a brick. Uh, and then here is the Apple TV. Fits in the palm of my hand. Good size. And it's got all this black uh, sticker wrap on it. And one of them says it's an energy star. So I'm going to peel off this one around the side, which reveals uh, a slick black um, sidewall here. And we have a power port, an HDMI port, and an Ethernet port. Very straightforward, very simple. Nothing much more than that. I see what's missing from this is uh, the uh, optical audio cable that they used to have in the past. Guess no point to have that. It just took them off a long time ago. Long time ago, so I need to upgrade. This is why we're, we're looking, uh, living through you, Paul, because you, you've upgraded. <laughs> uh, I still have the original, or the second gen Apple uh, II, uh, Apple TV II, gave it to my dad. He's been using it since. He bought a newer one, didn't like it, returned it, which was a mistake because it's uh, out of date now. Um, but we, got, we can buy this. We can buy this now. But I remember them having an optical audio. I didn't really see the point of that, honestly. Um, and you got HDMI, so if you want a, you know, faster load times. I just peeled off the bottom here, and you see that there's uh, vents. I don't know if you can see that on the bottom. And that's pretty much it. Pretty straightforward. Um, and I see there is one more Easter egg in here. And I'm going to pull this up. It's a little box. Uh, it is the probably the manuals that tell me you know all the safety things. It's really thin. I can see this is Apple TV. Shows me how to, oh, it tells me how the buttons work. There we go. Uh, so the mystery button here that I was thinking about says uh, press for TV app. So the Apple TV app. And then you press and hold for control center. So I'm going to find out what that even means, control center. Uh, and then it just shows me very basic things on how to plug it in. And in very Apple fashion, it looks really nice and graphically friendly. Um, that's it. And you get a charge cable. So. Uh, you can charge your iPhone with this too. <laughs> so, <laughs> so if you get the Apple TV, you can now finally charge your iPhone because I didn't include that in your, Apple, your iPhone, <laughs> which is kind of funny. But uh, yeah, so you got one of these and uh, you can plug it into uh, your remote. Um, I think they should use more USB-C stuff because everybody's using it, but hey, you got lightning, so that's good. And that is the bottom of the box, nothing else. But I did notice one thing as I was pulling this out. And you got some glorious Apple stickers. People love those. Yeah, Apple stickers. So I'm going to put this all back nice and neat because this is yours, not mine. So I'll put this ever so neatly. Um, so what are your thoughts about what you've seen so far? You liking it? Yeah. It's a nice, it's a nice Apple TV. I'm, you are the proud owner of an Apple TV. So my question is, is this thing charged? I don't know. Yes, it's charged. I hope it's charged because <laughs> we want to use it. OK, we've got a power cable. So uh, we're going to go plug it into a TV, see what it looks like. We'll be right back. There is the welcome there. So I'm going to use a new remote and just click the center button, see what happens. There we go. It's telling me what to press now. Hola. I don't want to... Oh, English. There we go. United States. Data privacy. Set up with iPhone. 
So automatically set up your Apple TV. Okay, so we want to use probably use your iPhone. So go ahead and uh, do your thing. Click it. All right. So set up Apple TV. Uh, unlock your iPhone. Connect to a Wi-Fi network, which would be this one. Leave them connected. Turn on Bluetooth. And so hold. Up with 3A. And it says hold the device close to the Apple TV. So you can do that. Uh, you already have TV, so. Get AT and T TV. Oh, you do do that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, home screen. Keep apps on, up to date. Okay, so you want to keep everything synced. Turn on. Okay, cool. And where will this uh, be located? Home theater. Okay, home theater. And uh, see the world. Would you like to automatically download HD uh, screensavers? Those are the kind of screensavers you get. Yeah. So automatically download. The last one I didn't do it, and now I can't find a way to go back and do it. <laughs> cool. Do you like uh, analytics? That I was doing don't send, but that's up to you. <laughs> well, but don't send. Uh, we agree to the terms of service because otherwise you can't use it. <laughs> Uh, you know, can't agree, you know. All right, and we're greeted to, with the home screen, and this is what the new home screen looks like, and it looks glorious, and you can see already that it's downloading Apple TV. Very fast, actually. This is running off of Wi-Fi. And as I said that, it paused, of course. Um, well, I mean, I like, I like the uh, design of these icons. They're very uh, bubbly. Oh, you never went over the Siri button on the side of the remote. And then, well, now we can try it out. What can I do? Press the Siri button to see some things you can do. Let's see. Okay. What can I do with Siri? What can I do with Siri? Press Siri to see some buttons. You gotta press and hold. What can I do with Siri? Usually she tells me. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, Where's your volume? Uh, volume control has not been configured. Do you want to do that now? Uh, that's funny. So, I told you this. Say yes. Okay. Now I'll try it. Okay, volume control. Auto. Okay, back. Oh, I guess it has to learn my device. Okay, press and hold the volume button on the other remote. Uh, continue to hold the volume button until it is full. No signal detected. Please make sure the remote is working in range and point towards the app. Oh! I'm not entirely sure how this is supposed to work. Well, we can do that later. Yeah, I think we're going to end up doing that later. Okay, yeah, we're going to back out of that one. So that's a bust. Put that on auto and um, back out of that. Okay, I can see it's downloaded some cool things in the background that look really good on this 4K TV. I can't see from over here. Looks good. Looks really good. Uh, I don't hear any sound, which is yet. I see it's, I switched over to Adobe Audio and it's downloading a ton of stuff, which includes Disney Plus, uh, AV something TV, your speed test title, so your title app's on here, Caleb's on here. Oh uh, yeah, I pulled over what I have on the other one now. Okay, so it's, it's copying all your apps yeah. over. Uh, what do you want to see on this first? Doesn't matter. Disney Plus? Sure. Okay, so put Disney Plus, lean back, because this is a TV experience. That's probably going to make you log in on this one. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. Oh, but you can use... I think you can log in using your, your app, your Disney Plus app. If I have it. 
Disney Plus. Disney's got some good stuff coming out. Uh, I just got through watching Agent Carter. Tap to allow iPhone. I guess. How do I tap to allow iPhone? I just did that. See. Oh, tap on your phone to allow? Yeah. That's cool. Speed test. How fast is this puppy? Alright. Go. It's on Wi Fi. We're on a fiber connection. And it's doing pretty good. It's connecting to something in Austin. So that's that's more realistic instead of doing something here in town. So download speed is 235, 236. Upload. I don't know what in the world you'd be uploading. Unless you're playing games. Can you play games on this? You can play games on this, right? Yeah. Maybe we should, do you have, do you have uh, any games? Mm, not downloaded on these. Okay. So uh, that'd be interesting to see. But it'll work with your Xbox and PS4 controllers. <laughs> I like I like the fact that it'll work with my Xbox and PlayStation controllers. That's cool. I can I can see. Uh, oops, not. Oh, this is your exercise thing. The rings. Okay. I want to do the arcade thing. Are you part uh, an Apple One member? I have no idea. So Apple One is like you get iCloud, you get. Uh, Apple Music, everything included in one bundle. It's like thirty dollars a year or something like that. Um, that gives you an arcade. Oh, your new device in, uh, includes three months of Apple Ar Arcade free. So, yeah, that means I've got six months now. <laughs> yeah, there we go. You can play some games on here. Okay, I'm kind of curious to see what that would be. I guess you could play. Can you play games with the remote itself, or you have to have an actual controller? I think you can play games with the remote. That's kind of cool. Um, title? We can play some music. You got title still? No, I think that ended. That ended. That trial ended. Okay. You yeah. got Apple Music. Let's try Apple Music. There you go. Let's, let's see what this thing can do. Your music isn't available right now. Check your internet connection. Try again. The job yeah. is to really help. So, yeah. still getting the hang of this. In this for the right reason. For the right reason. It's all about heart and Going back to this season, I found that very interesting. Actually, me this said, "What this, this show?" Looks like a Chevy. Get in. I just ate. Oh come on! I wouldn't hurt you to have a little fun. Fun? A car for every person, for every purpose. Isn't that your line? Exactly. And I don't see the purpose of this. Fun. That's the purpose of it. Kids drive cars like this because they're fast. Well, that was a great experience. Well, that concludes my video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos.